my phone so hot? Not even on it. <laughs> what do you got for sale, good sir? You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. Finer weight array of what, though? Heaven's Cloud? I don't know if I use Heaven's Cloud. You're welcome anytime. Thank you, buddy. Do you see that too? Papa. <laughs> Papa. Who is it? Please. What are y'all? What are y'all looking at? I'm scared. Oh. Nothing good's gonna come of this. I'm telling you. Oh. Just looking at it's enough to send a shiver down your spine. Has that always been there? Good girl. Run like the wind. You did. Oh my. Kidding. Oh, five more bits? Cap slut. <laughs> oh, cap sus. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I said. Thank you for the bit. Did I not hear it? It didn't make the sound. Is it still too low? Or does the music go off? I made a mistake. I apologize. <laughs> At least I saw it. Yes, thank you for the bits. Unique. Is it, it didn't pop up, right? Like on, um, over there? Like on screen? Up here? <laughs> I wonder why. Because it worked a second ago. It did, but no sound. Hmm. I broke the sound. <laughs> it's okay. I, no, I think I broke the sound, to be honest. I can't be Rutherford, can it? Coats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! Allow me. Just imagine it in your ears, my moaning. Oh, I my. don't need your. Please, uh, Field Marshal, oblige him. Hitting. This won't take <laughs> long. Who are these guys? You're right. It won't. Renegades? Oh, you're dead. Men. Finish him. Shiva! Enemy slain. <laughs> I only did two attacks. <laughs> A little longer than I'd have liked. A little longer? They died so fast. Okay. Sorry, hun. I'm back now. Welcome back, Allie. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Fucking traitors! I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they swore. But I hadn't thought the corruption Welcome had back. reached so close to the heart of the Republic. It's a fucking disgrace. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. My Lord Marquis. Or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call me what you want. 
It doesn't change who I am. All the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to right the realm, and he needs your help to see it through. Before I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. What do you stand to gain from all this? Wawa? Wawa? I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning. Thank you for, for the drink paper. Us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, I know I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die. When it should have been our decision all along. Now we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. Yes, a heart outlaw with a heart of gold. I'll never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Thank you, Field Marshal. But they are not the only ones we will need to convince. What do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. But those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words, well, we will need an envoy. One who can court even the most stubborn of states. You need to pee? Go pee, you need pee, perhaps. I'm flattered. Go pee. <laughs> but I'm no diplomat either. And I have other problems no. to attend to. Yes, go pee. What we need <laughs> is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Is that so? But, and would but, he happen to what? be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Well, beggars can't be choosers. I, go pee. I ah. suppose we'll all have to find a little <laughs> of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. I mean, what? Very well. Or watch Send your mind to me right away. Yeah, there you go. Just take pee with you. I mean, take phone with you. <laughs> take pee with you. Oh my goodness. Uh, my lord, Marquis. I do all the time. Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor Go pee, in Port Isolga. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Very good, my lord. Huh. An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. No. This is a job for someone with experience. Someone like Quinton. I hope I can convince him at least. Or pee, or pee your pants? No, no peeing of the pants. I watched stream and met. What's the rest of that N word? <laughs> <laughs> Meditate. Ah, that's the one. <laughs> Need to bonk my girlfriend too. <laughs> that's where you're spelling it off. Tag me with one hand. Oh my. Good day. Mess. Uh, <laughs> that it's getting longer than meditate. <laughs> May we meet again? <laughs> Have you gone in peed yet? Unique. <laughs> Jokes aside, go pee. <laughs> Please go pee. 
P for me. Okay, that might have sounded worse than I meant it. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. I'll pee for you, daddy. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> On your chest. Um... <laughs> um, go pee. <laughs> Stomach. Mouth. What the fuck? No. <laughs> Hitting. Maybe. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, well, go to pee in the bathroom already. You're so silly. Who are you? Go pee. Quinton. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Some people? Something tells me you'll Some be asking kids? more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands Since of everybody? years. Everyone? Was well. there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family. You're as short as one? And uh -oh. I cannot <laughs> abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm Remember, sorry she's to taller than you. <laughs> so am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. They're all in the second one point. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about. We'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. Pardon you know we will. <laughs> it's not that. Uh -uh. You tell us here? No, you're not. <laughs> you said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's You're actually the I'm... shortest here. <laughs> then what are you saying? I appreciate the confidence, that though. Only we are worth saving. Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves. And if you can do that... Who's to say you couldn't I'm sorry, Mackenzie. Yeah, I hope you get some sleep. A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? Being bullied? You're not being bullied. Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Porta Zolda. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. Above average in many ways. Oh my. Hopefully not for long. My uncle <laughs> will want to know that his plan is taking shape. <laughs> oh my. You're gonna pick me up and do me. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all are so horny. Yeah, yeah, just us. <laughs> um, let's go here. Including Rainer. Wow, including me, huh? Hmm. Where should I go to first? Left?
Don't you owe my me, Mackenzie. That's my word. No use calling Ambrosia now. Oh my. <laughs> Real quick. Come on. Yeah. You know, I'm growing side side burn, burns. But that's what you meant. <laughs> no holding back. Seems this place is flooded twice over. Oh, sorry. Hey, Mackenzie. Purple flowers blooming next to a waterfall. What's wrong? Shouldn't be too hard to find. Please get out of my head. I'm shaving them. Thanks, I just grabbed this fighting. Nope. You're not shaving the night. Have many combos. Wow. You weren't anyways, you're playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Here they are. Might as well I, mean, you out, I, mean, I don't know what time it is for you. Oh, isn't it really late for you? Yeah, it's not even the night anymore. It's the morning now of the next day. I planned on it. Well, it's already one o'clock your time. The night's over. <laughs> it's the next day. Yeah, it's the next day. It's not... Um... Which one's faster? This one? I'll put you in a chastity cage. Who? Me? Let's go. Yes, you. Um, sure. <laughs> I'm thinking gay. But you in one, two. Some people bottoms. <laughs> That kind of straight. <laughs> I think 
thinking, okay, okay, mommy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> now they're adorable. Could this be Mickelberg. Looks like a damn hobbit house. Can I get off the thingy? You deserve a rest. What are these people doing? Oh man. These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. Call him a halfling. What is going on here? Ah, did you too? No one is to translate this. Translate what? Eat the call. No, I. I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I. I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Mm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this? Where you live. It is not stupid. <laughs> the others, they, they heeded the call. You keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This thank you for the bits you need. Thank you, thank is you. that altar where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters. And give themselves to the Lord. I so forgot to translate. Give yeah. themselves. Morn? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. You're fine, Mackenzie. It's, it's Let okay. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Yes. Free us from the torment yes. no one's stupid. of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Thank you for the bits you need. Again, I don't think the Forgive sound came me. through, but I, I saw it. I heard Did it, but um, like me, come here. No, you're not unique. He was probably Stop wearing it. a cowl. You mean the traveler from Stone? Yes, he's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. You're they fine, seek Mackenzie. The same salvation Barnabas did. At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find the him. Brain slashes. Aww. Oh my. Headed man. Excuse me. That's what I meant. <laughs> you were the undying. I am. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> and so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. <laughs> no, so and I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning You're fine, quill, Mackenzie. Don't worry about much it. Much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid yeah, of their that. wicked wills and reborn in their savior's this light. This is Assassin's Creed. Hood boys. That they might be granted <laughs> That's what I thought when I saw them too, because they're red and white and gray. But so that they might continue. So I definitely thought they were Assassin's him. Creed too. <laughs> serve him with all of their beings. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... ...tis different. 
Tis. It tis is different. More. He said tis, and it definitely said it is. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe. I need to wash they my might hair achieve before tomorrow. Their dream. Oh yeah, you do. They might do take their a shower. duty to their lord. Red, white, and blue. The French. Even if it should keep me America. from doing my duty to mine. Oh, <laughs> you do understand what their dream is, this don't is you? why you need to sleep. I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Red and only. Did I say blue? I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, I meant that gray. is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord. But I must Oops. remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Hmm, the Robo Spiders. Well. Found her. Ready, brother? Wait, what happened? It's hot. You should go take a shower. He's not Han, he's daddy. British people, nom. <laughs> Aww. You should go take a shower, Unique. If you're hot. Yes, go. Please take, go take a shower. You say you need to wash your hair anyways. It tastes like beans. Beans and toast. <laughs> Isn't that what they eat? Beans on toast or something? And bland. If he's not if he's not one that can make him one. What? Oh my. Beans and toast is actually good. Uh, I haven't I actually haven't had it. So Ready. Just clearing him up. Clearing him out. You're turning British. <laughs> what now? Oh, thank you for the bits again. Unique. It really isn't capturing the sound, is it? Hmm. I need to fix that. Uh, we meet again. I've killed your kind before. Oh, you could hear it? Oh, okay, good, good, good. Oh my! Nice try. I just don't know why. Hopefully, it's a bit louder now. British. 
I can't read that. <laughs> oh no, he's too far away. Oh no, he wasn't. Perfect. Okay, that hurt. It's getting tossed around. Did I say dick? Damn I can't it. read it, it's really funky. Oh no! He was such a good guy. Funk, did you die? Come on, speak to me. You're so mean. I had to save them. They might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting oh, no, they're dying. to the service of their lord. They're dying anyways. Just as I did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. A duty. Why is Rena not answering? Oh, I did. I did read it. I just didn't know what you meant. Everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your Did you not hear me? Done. I read all your messages, uh, Mackenzie. <sighs> I said, no, you meant. My lord. They are saved. Okay, this one's one of those ones that's not a happy ending. Because all those people are definitely dead right now. Gonna go take a shower. Thank you, Unique. Thank you for the lurk. How come they're not, um... Are you actually finally shaving? Allie, I just said I've never had it. They are saved. What did you mean by that? Found that. Oh, beans and toast, the food. I should get this report to Cyril. Yes. Aw, good girl. My lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Can I take that as a yes? Let me get my thighs done first. <laughs> Y'all are so adorable. Thank you, my lord. And go he to sleep, Mackenzie. Get some sleep. He died some protecting rest. the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. Wait, is he a different guy? If you could I not he died. save him. No one could. The I thought Cyril's the one that died. 
Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Oh, he's his brother? Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. <laughs> a hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> so do not have balls. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. I don't know if he's to shave those. <laughs> is the most perfect expression not an expert, of but um. <laughs> It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision Aww, shaving each is other. one's own. So cute. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. That's the point, hon. That's the point. Oh. But he didn't die for your creed. I'm really slow, so... He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right? I'm a roller coaster, my... I believe... Always did flips. Is that good? That he believed it Is that was. a good thing? <laughs> we of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. That's almost three hours? I swear it's just two. expression of it. <sighs> All right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my Please don't duty. be walking around, Mackenzie. Of course. You're tired I and I don't want you falling, okay? At once. My lord, it has been and shall ever be. I have to chase the and catch dogs. Honor of my life to I'm serve sure I could catch you. House Rossfield. Though our duties yes, may go to differ, bed, Mackenzie. Yours is no less important. I don't want you hurting yourself again. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here? Hard to sleep if you're walking I have around. No doubt, but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Yes, I'll tuck you in if you go to bed. Please don't. Are you okay? Mackenzie, are you okay? Mackenzie, why are you walking upstairs? You're supposed to be resting. Are you okay though, Mackenzie? Faster! Time to fight. I wish there was a mini map so I wouldn't have to keep opening the map every time. Back to the stables, girl. Yeah, Mackenzie, are you okay? This must be the orphanage. Did you need to get some sleep? Hopefully, the registry is still here. Sir, it's not funny, Mackenzie.
I want you safe. And you keep getting hurt. It's locked. I should look around some more before I start breaking down doors. Is it in the well? Or was it inside? Oh, this book maybe? Like Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. I'll bite, I will bite your ankles. <laughs> you need those. <laughs> Kenzie, get some rest, okay? A forked white tree. This must be the place. Are you okay, Did by you the really way? Buried here. There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. Alright, yeah, go to bed, Mackenzie. Please, please go to sleep. This must be the registry. Why are you gonna bite my ankles? What'd I do? So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. But where is the Yeah, but you shouldn't be bleeding at all, Mackenzie, because you shouldn't have been walking around when you're tired. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, I suppose. I finally done with all the side quests. <gasps> it's beautiful. Well, it's a little early to say that because there could be some more here. <laughs> but. 
No, you both are cute. Ooh, Uncle Byron. Uncle. I bring yes, you're a cute news. gremlin. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Very adorable. Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Port Azolder as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would You're probably call me one of his. But yes. Shit, Another sorry, outlaw, outlaw, Yes, please then. sleep, Mackenzie. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming how and Quinton can That's solve so our cute. problem with the armies. You still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain really? shortages. So adorable. <laughs> oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion. But luckily, I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. Well, the old battle axe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Love each other. Yes, now, they all love each other. Must be getting back to the manor. That's so adorable. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I'm trying to share my tattoo. That's that's funny. You're very cute, Allie. <laughs> It's not going to come off. And how, pray tell, yes, exactly. <laughs> will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with a kashik? You'll find another bloody road. I and if it does, so you need to go to the hospital because you just shaved off so much flesh. Flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food My to keep shirt. them going... They'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen. Well, if it's a pure white shirt, you could easily clean an it. Alternative approach. Though supply Mackenzie. routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. You can easily get Allow blood out of a, a white clothes. Fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed. Ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Clive, <laughs> I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company were you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal. Criminal? How? We'll clean it up another How time. How dare you? You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Let's get some sleep. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. Once more unto the breach. Shall we not begin so subtle again? Cough. What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind now might we weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much. 
resistance. Too much. But it's we can be okay. You can still sleep. If Pain will we go show away. them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, or put some ice, maybe I'm too. I'm confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands, but the well being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I. Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford! My quill. I forgot how long it takes with a normal razor. <laughs> well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. Wanna help? Ah. <laughs> we shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. Yes, please. It that will. you might have the opportunity to shine. The I forgot I've saying that it was. A <laughs> and there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof There's of There's a reason why I don't say him. No one wants to hear that. Well, then go to sleep. Let me tuck Thank you, you in. Uncle. Go to sleep. Greener? Yes. Guess what? What is it, Allie? I hope these are all just to turn in the quests. What do you think that thing is? I haven't been up this elevator in a long time. Will you stream tomorrow morning? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. 